Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to talk about designer fragrances and my top 15 favorite fragrances, designer fragrances of all time. These 15 fragrances are a staple in my collection and I will always have them in my collection because I love them most. Um, I do like other designer fragrances, but these are the ones that I actually am nuts over. Like, I love everything about them. So, it was very hard for me to choose only 15 from my collection, but I did it. And I will start. I have the laptop in front of me just to kind of tell you brief notes about each fragrance. So, the first one... These are in no particular order as well. The first one is Miss Dior Le Parfum. I love this fragrance. It's considered a cheap floral and it's an amber, patchouli, rose, vanilla and citrus scent. It's very dense. It's heavy. Um, very sexy. There's a sexiness about it. Uh, just beautiful. It lasts for a long time. The bottle, as you can see, is just magnificent. Gorgeous stuff. I love this. It's a very heavy patchouli and amber type of scent. Um, it's dense. As I said, it's got character. It, it's not um, a weak one, that's for sure. It's one of the more heavier uh, fragrances by this by Christian Dior. And I absolutely love it. So quickly, the notes are Mandarin, Bulgarian Rose, Absolute, Turkish Rose, Absolute, Patchouli, Amber, and Vanilla. And on Fragrantica, they've got a little description here that says, the scent is described as seductive, elegant, sensual, and intoxicating. So, and that's what I do get from it. It's very feminine. It's a beautiful kind of an oriental scent. Very opulent and a little bit of sweetness and um, as I said it's it's really really good one by Christian Dior now the next one is my absolute favorite fragrance ever but I thought I'd have to add it since I'm doing a designer video and if you've watched my videos you know that this is my favorite perfume ever created the Christian Dior poison I have done a whole video on this fragrance, so if you do want to check that out, I don't want to talk about it too much because I always talk about this fragrance, but it's just such a sexy, seductive scent. It's got so many notes in there and it's perfectly rounded, beautifully um, blended and it's just an incredible incense, plum, tuberose, spicy kind of a scent. Do check my video out because I talk more in depth about it there. This next beauty is by Givenchy and it's called Dahlia Devin. And it is a woody white floral, a little bit fruity, patchouli and warm spicy scent. Uh, this is another... I find it very sexy as well. It's alluring. It's very feminine. It's ultra sweet. Um, it's a modern fragrance. So, y you know, the the opium, the modern opium line, the La Vie est Belle by Lancôme, those Trésor, Midnight Rose, you know, those modern types of scents. This is one of those. But it's one of my favorite um, ones. I'm not sure if this is focusing or not go yeah so this is more of a favorite to me because I don't have the ones that I just mentioned I don't have them in my collection I find them too sweet kind of similar to one another but this one has something a little bit different about it um, it is very sweet as I said oh it's very musky it's very musky I think that's what I love about it it's let's read the notes um, Plum, okay. It's got plum. I love plum. And this, the perfumer who made this is Francois Demachy, and he, I think that's how you pronounce his name, and he made this one as well, the Miss Dior Le Parfum. 
So that's probably why I like it. Um, it's got that ambery, sexy base, uh, uh, like the other one. So it's got plum, uh, sunbuck jasmine, white flowers, sandalwood, vetiver, patchouli. Um, so what else does it say here? Oh, it's got a little bit more notes. Pink pepper, peach. Yes, I did say that it's got some fruity notes. It's got apple. It's got black currant. Um, what else? Patchouli, white musk. Yeah, it's a very musky, sexy, alluring, sweet, slightly fruity, um, beautiful scent. It doesn't have amber, but I definitely can smell amber. And... I now want to check out the other flankers in this line because I have a feeling I'm going to like them. I don't like the original Dahlia uh, fragrance, but I do love this flanker and I'm sure I will love the other flankers once I try them. So that was a favourite. Next is one by Hermes. It's the 24 Faubourg. I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. I love this fragrance. It's such a mature, grown up, beautiful, sheep floral uh, scent. It's a white floral, a little bit of citrus. It's sweet, uh, slightly powdery, and woody. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. As I said, it, to me, it smells like what vintage perfumes smell like. So it's got that classical kind of a scent to it. Uh, let's see the notes here. Okay, it's got white flowers, floral heart. Oh, they don't really say the notes. Iris, woods, vanilla. Um, I can see that it has peach again, hyacinth, um, amber, patchouli, vanilla sandalwood so and white floral so it's a beautiful big heavy um, classical smelling scent you know with your peach and your uh, white flowers and then it's got that ambery patchouli base and for some reason I'm now thinking that I kind of like the same kind of fragrances because um, the base of these are like amber and patchouli so I'm kind of I've got a I've got a pattern happening here, but this is an elegant and classy one. Um, so it's a very giant bouquet of flowers, uh, heady smelling. It's very very beautiful, and as I said, it's a little bit more mature on the mature side, and um, yeah, one of my favourites. The next one I absolutely adore. Door. It's a flanker, it's the Muggler or Mugler or however you say it. Um, Alien Essence Absolute. Oh my gosh, guys, this is an incredibly beautiful fragrance. Oh, just beautiful. It's very ambery, very, very thick and dense. You can tell by the liquid color here. It's balsamic, amber, vanilla, white floral, and it's a little bit smoky. A I adore this fragrance. I adore it. I really do. It's um, intoxicating. It's addictive. You know, when you spray it, you're just enveloped in this jasmine. Um, it's a little bit animalic as well. Incense and amber. And it's it feels like, you know, a beautiful, beautiful, when you wear a beautiful... Um, cashmere sweater or something like that or it just feels like that you're wearing a beautiful your favorite jumper I guess <laughs> um so this one creates like a cloud around you when you spray it on and it lasts forever and specifically if you uh, spray it on your clothes it tends to last longer on clothes um it just leaves a beautiful cloud around you. It's one of those fragrances that you spray on and you walk past someone and they're like, oh my gosh, what do you what do you got what do you have on? You know, it's potent, it's delicious at the same time, although it's a big 
floral ambery floral with some incense but it's just absolutely delightful to wear I love this love it actually I do actually like it more than the original alien so next is a beauty from Chanel I love this the most from Chanel this is just their regular um, collection I haven't included any exclusives or anything like that today this is just plain you know you're all plain designer perfumes Coco Coco is my favorite from Chanel absolutely gorgeous scent again it's another dense oh my gosh like I really stick to one thing don't I so this is a very dense very spicy gorgeous gorgeous fragrance my bottle is the older bottles I know that they've changed the formula today so I'm talking about what I get from my bottle so this is the Eau de Parfum and I forgot to mention that all of the fragrances that I've shown so far are, are Eau de Parfums I think yes they are okay so this one is again balsamic warm spicy amber sweet and a little bit powdery oriental spicy scent um, Notes are coriander, mandarin, orange, peach, jasmine, Bulgarian rose, mimosa, cloves, orange blossom, clover, rose, labdanum, amber, sandalwood, tonka bean, apopinac, civet, and vanilla. Beautiful set of notes. It has peach again. I think I like peach. <laughs> I think I like peachy notes. So this is a classic guys if you haven't tried it please go and try it um, although I do know that it smells different today but it's got the same kind of DNA happening it's still beautiful but the the vintage one is the one to go for it's just a dazzling kind of fragrance very classy very rich um, it's just intoxicating again I love this scent Okay, the next one is a little bit different. Um, it's a perfect patchouli and rose fragrance. And it is the Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo. This is the Eau de Parfum. And it's a sweet patchouli and rose fragrance that has a little bit of fruits. It's a warm, spicy floral as well. This is my perfect patchouli and rose fragrance i love wearing this the entire year round um it's not too sweet so it's not like one of those really you know sickly sweet ones that's what i love about it it's got more patchouli and it's kind of um it's got a pear note which i get the sweetness from the pear note so it's not too sweet as i said um it's very sexy perfect nighttime scent uh, or date night um, very very long lasting and it's very modern again a um, little bit sparkly um, yeah so it's just a perfect all round perfectly blended as well actually a beautiful patchouli and fruity patchouli scent the funny thing about this fragrance is it does not have rose in the notes but i smell rose i can smell a touch of rose in there somewhere so i don't know i'll tell you the notes it's orchid toff sweet toffee caramel patchouli um and pear so yeah it doesn't have rose but i could swear i can smell rose um so yeah it's for me anyway it's a perfect patchouli rose smelling fragrance I don't know next is this gorgeous tuberose fragrance and it is the Michael by Michael Kors this is called Michael because there's like a gazillion flankers and they all look the same and it's very tricky to find out which one is which so this one is Michael by Michael Kors because they've got kind of a very similar packaging and it's just I don't know why they've done that and they've got like yeah as I said a billion flankers so this is a tuberose beauty it's a tuberose white floral woody musky fragrance it's sheer elegance this is perfect for 
a romantic dinner or something like that. It's just really, really elegant. Um, the notes are freesia, incense, Chinese osmanthus, tamarind, tuberose, iris, peony, orris root, arum lily, uh, musk, cashmere wood, and vetiver. It's so delicately beautiful. It's quite long lasting actually, but it's a delicate beauty. And on Fragrantica here, um, I can see that they've, um, well, 247 people think that it smells like Kim Kardashian by Kim Kardashian. I have tried that one. Uh, it's kind of the same kind of scent, but it doesn't like, it's not identical to it. This is more classy. This is just more, you know, expensive smelling. The other one smells a little bit more synthetic and cheaper. And I don't really like the other one actually. It's too sweet. It's got this kind of um, sweetness about it that I didn't like. This one isn't. It's just a beautiful... The only way I can describe it is uh, very elegant. And um, and I would say actually if you like Dusson by Diptyque, the Eau de Toilette, not the Eau de Parfum. If you like that one, I think you would absolutely love this because it's on that type of level not the kim kardashian fragrance it's, it's more like de um and it also does remind me of other flankers of this fragrance so there's no point in buying the other ones if you have this one already um so yeah one of my absolute favorite tuberose designer fragrances Next up, I have this beautiful, beautiful beauty. It's the Hane Mori Magical Moon. I know that this one's been discontinued and I'm so bummed about it. I couldn't even buy it in Australia because we didn't have it here. I had to purchase it from overseas. And this is just the 30ml bottle and I've used a lot of it already and I'm scared to use any more because I love it. I love it so much. It's considered to be an oriental floral. I find it more on the fruity side. It's a very sweet, fruity, balsamic, tropical vanilla and woody fragrance. It's just magical. It is. It's the only way to describe this fragrance. The, the name suits it perfectly. It's just beautiful. It's alluring. It's um, sugary. It's uplifting. As I said, the name is just perfect for it. Um, when I wear this, I it just makes me feel beautiful. It makes me feel like smiling, you know? It's one of those fragrances. And I'm so, so depressed that it's been discontinued. It's a happy perfume. Um, it's a perfect all year round type of fragrance you can wear it during the day you can wear it during the night it's just a perfect fragrance you know for me anyway and it's got um well i don't know let's check the notes actually because it's got a very strong pink pepper note to my nose yes it does contain pink pepper so that to me on me actually is the main note pink pepper and i tend to love that note um, so the notes are, yeah, pink pepper, lychee, guava, pineapple, uh, rose, orange, blossom, osmanthus, ginger. It's got uh, sugarcane, red cedar, cotton flower. I don't know what on earth that is. Star fruit. So it's got a medley of beautiful, beautiful notes. And it's just beautiful. Oh, it's got coconut. Did I say coconut? No, I didn't. Yeah, sandalwood and patchouli. So it's beautiful. It's really, really nice. If you come to find it somewhere, do try it because it's a really, really great one. Now we have another Christian Dior fragrance and it's Dior Addict. Oh my gosh, this fragrance is so rich and creamy. It's considered to be an oriental floral. It's a vanilla, grown up vanilla type of scent white floral balsamic sweet aromatic and slightly powdery um i think it's got um yep a lot of sandalwood and this is another confusing one because they've remade this fragrance so many times now this is 
this bottle is from maybe I bought this about four years ago so after this one came out there was another reformulated one and it comes in a slightly different packaging there's one before this one which is the original one and I also do have that one but it's in a sealed box so when I finish this one I will open my backup and that is my favorite one the the older bottle it's delicious it's scrumptious it's creamy it's rich woody vanilla it's very very warm and just enticing it's so delicious um so and it is a popular one a lot of people love it i can't imagine anyone not liking it if they don't like vanilla so the let's see the notes it's got mulberry in it i don't really detect any oh flowers mulberry flowers blackberry okay i didn't know that it had blackberry in it it's got rose uh, mandarin leaf orange blossom sandalwood as i said vanilla jasmine so it's a beautiful beautiful fragrance more on the delicious side as i said it's more of a grown-up vanilla very creamy and rich and my bottle here does last a long long time i'm not sure about the newer formula i did try it though and i did like it it just smells a little bit different to this one though um so yeah it's really really beautiful it's like a big hug you know one of those fragrances okay we've only got i think three more to go four more to go actually okay this one is juicy couture by juicy couture I don't know what it is about this fragrance that just makes me love it so, so, so much. This is my favourite juice from Juicy Couture. Oh my gosh, it's tuberose, it's vanilla, it's creamy, it's rich, it's just, for me, it's a little bit sweet. It's, it's just perfection in a bottle for me. I know a lot of people that don't like this fragrance one bit, but for me... I don't know what it is I just I just love it it's a perfect tuberose fragrance for me because it does contain that sweetness as I said it's a little bit fruity as well it's a very long lasting fragrance it's got caramel in it um, it's a sweet white floral tuberose animalic green and caramel there is a bit of greenness to it I must say it's got passion fruit from what I can see from the notes here um, caramel, yum, vanilla. It's just gorgeous, guys. If you're a tuberose fan, please check it out if you haven't. Um, on Fragrantica here, it says that it smells like Fairy Dust by Paris Hilton. And you know what? I think it kind of does have similarities with that one. Uh, but this is a little bit more sweeter and it's more, you know, delectable or more, it's more rich and just got it has more vanilla like much more vanilla and that caramel note in it makes it a little bit different to uh, the Paris Hilton one it's a floral bomb with some vanilla and caramel that's what it is and to me it's absolutely perfect so this next one is unfortunately discontinued um, they always discontinue the good ones hey this is by Lolita Olympica and it's the L de Lolita. Look at the bottle. It's it reminds me of the beach. It's got like shells and starfish here. But it doesn't smell like the beach to me. Um so it's a very unusual bottle. Very strange. And this, I don't like the spraying mechanism here because it doesn't have a lid and it's kind of like you think it's a lid and then you t try and take it off and then you wreck it. But yeah, let's talk about this, this one over here. I'm going to show you a different angle because it's too precious to miss. Yeah, so that's better. You can see it a little bit more now. So pretty. It's so pretty. 
So this one is an oriental vanilla scent. It's very rich and creamy. I love my vanillas um, cre creamy and rich. It's got a very distinctive cinnamon note in there. So it's a warm, spicy vanilla cinnamon, little bit of citrus and a little bit of sweetness going on. Um, to me, this is like a, like a holiday type of scent, you know, um, like a bakery type of scent. So I'm not sure why it's got like beach, a beach bottle. <laughs> Look, it is a little bit salty, which maybe makes sense that it has a bottle like this. Yeah, it's a little bit salty. So it's a sweet, salty caramelly vanilla -y, cinnamon bomb so it's just a delicious 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 scent and on fragrantica 44 people have said it smells like lira by zerzhov to me it's kind of it's not the same scent but it's along those lines you know if you like lira then you probably like this one they're not the same it's actually okay if you have both i have both and they are a little bit different but um yeah but they've got that same type of vanilla thing happening um so it smells like something that's baked you know a a, a cake or a cinnamon cake or scroll or something like that that's baked um oh someone else well 20 other people have said that it smells like musk ravageur by frederick Mal. And look, I kind of, I kind of do get that as well. So it's, you know, it's along those lines, that type of scent. If you like those types of scents, that kind of group, you would absolutely love this. If you find it, oh, it's been discontinued. I'm, I hate when they do that, you know? So yeah, I absolutely love this. Very, very long lasting. It's delicious, scrumptious, um, dessert. That's what it is. Okay, I hate to do this, but the next one is also discontinued. I was not going to include any discontinued ones, but they are my favorites, so I had to. This will always, forever be in my collection. This is, oh, this is just, it makes me cry because I've got a lot of memories associated with this fragrance and it's just such a unique fragrance that I've never, ever come across anything like it it doesn't smell like anything i know it doesn't even come close to anything that i've smelt before this is giorgio armani sensi it's considered to be an oriental woody fragrance it's a white floral sweet almond balsamic nutty fragrance it's got this greenness about it it's a very hard to describe type of scent very unusual and unique and i think it, yeah it has a note of of wheat so barley and I think that's what makes it very very um, unusual so the notes here um, fresh kaffir lime acacia jasmine um, barley palisander wood sweet benzoin resin hang on because they don't really have the notes I have to click onto each picture Almond, the almond here is a fresh green almond, so it's not your creamy, delicious vanilla type of almond scent. It's got Brazilian rosewood in there. It's just gorgeous, guys. If, if you haven't had the chance to smell it, please try and smell it. It's got benzoin. Um, it's just one of the most unique fragrances I've ever come across. And... I really cannot explain what it smells like because it's really, it's just so unusual. It's so unusual. It's not too sweet. Um, so the room's going dark for some reason. It's so windy outside today. It's really scary actually. So yeah, it's an almond, not non-sweet or semi-sweet. You can say green almond and hay white floral. Maybe with sandalwood? I don't know. Or no, it doesn't have, even have sandalwood. It has rosewood in it. Anyway, I'm just blabbing on, but this is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous scent. And the... Maybe I've got... Yes, I've got two more to go. 
The next one does not have a lid and I hate that. I hate fragrances without a lid. I have no idea what I've done with the lid. It's an old fra fragrance. It's the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. This is the very first bottle that came out. Every year they bring out another Bronze Goddess. And I think it was this year they brought out the Eau de Parfum because this one is the Skin Scent Eau Fraiche. So, and you know what? This is actually very long lasting on my skin. It doesn't smell very weak. That's the, as I said, the first bottle that came out. And apparently they kind of smell similar to one another. Um, so there's not much difference. And I agree, I have smelt other ones. I have the last year's release as well. Um, but my favorite one is the original bottle. So I'm just trying to open into it now and I'll tell you what it smells like. So it was made in 2008, uh, this line. And it's uh, considered to be a floral fruity fragrance. To me, it's not a floral fruity, actually. Um, they say here that it's a white floral, citrus, coconut, sweet, vanilla, aromatic scent. And I do agree with that. It's a beach scent, 100% beach scent. It smells like sun tanning lotion. So if you're into that, you would absolutely love this Bronze Goddess line. I love sun tan lotion scents. It's a very tropical, coconutty, white jasmine. Um, the citrus is mainly mandarin orange citrus, so it's not your bitter one. Bitter types of citruses. Um, it, I can see it's got lavender, amber. I don't detect any lavender actually. Um, myrrh. Beautifully blended. It is rich, it's creamy, and it smells like suntan lotion. So. Um, what else can I say here? It's milky. Yeah, it is milky. Someone else said that it's a milky tropical beach type of scent. And it is. It's perfect for the summer nights, you know, on the beach. It's just perfect for that. So this is the last one and it's a new acquisition for me. And why I've said it's my favorite perfume, my favorite designer is because it will be. I just know it. As soon as I smelt this fragrance, I was melting. I was absolutely melting and I have rushed out to buy um, a couple of backups just in case it gets discontinued. That's how much I love it. Um, it's gorgeous. It's by Michael Kors. And so you can see it better. I just want to show you a close-up actually of the bottle. Look at the bottle. It's shimmery. It's a dark blue shimmery scent. I mean, not scent. What am I saying? It's gorgeous, guys. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, let's have a look at my laptop again and see what they've said about it and I'll tell you what I think about it. Okay, so it's a floral woody musk, a vanilla woody sweet powdery balsamic. Um, to me, I smell almond. I smell a ton load of almond. It doesn't have almond in the notes, but for me, it smells very, very similar to um, Aqua de Palma's um, Mandorla di Sicilia. So if you like that fragrance, you would absolutely love this one. It's to me, they're very, very similar. So it's that type of smell. It's a very sweet, um, almond, vanilla, woody type of scent. And I'll just try and find the notes here because I'm not sure if they've got the notes. I can just see, see the pictures. Okay. So it's got quince. Quince, vanilla, jasmine, freesia, um, musk, amber wood, 
um, white woods, moss, and peru black balsam. So they probably create this kind of almond type of scent. I don't know. I wouldn't know. But to me, it smells like almonds and vanilla and white flowers. It's so delicious. So, so delicious. I'm so glad I tried it because I wasn't going to. But uh, yeah, and this one lasts on your clothes a lot more than on your skin. So I did wear it a few times already and um, it does last on my skin, but I'm not sure if it would last on anyone else's skin. But then again, when I did spray it, I sprayed about 15 sprays. <laughs> so yeah, and it did last. It lasted till the next day on me. So yeah, that's... Ooh a current absolute favorite of mine at the moment so here they are all together show you how pretty they are all the prettiness so they were my top favorite 15 designer fragrances of all time these are just perfect fragrances for me that I love so dearly um, thanks so much for watching guys and let me know what your designer favorites are um, and you know seeing what I love from this tray today if you have any recommendations for me to try um, please note them down below and so yeah that's it guys and I'll catch you next time take care bye bye